Oh, Philip, um, very surprising intervention this after an election that's been, um, some might say, cloaked in mystery. Well, there have been worries from the international community about the holding of these elections, the way in which they were held, and the result which many said was an election made to measure for Ali Bongo. Everyone, everything was put in place so that he would be declared winner. This is a dynasty run in Gabon, been in power since 1967 under Ali Bongo's father, Omar Bongo. And somewhere down the line, I think there was a feeling that he is uh, in his rightful place as president. So this is just a formality to go through these elections, but he will just carry on being president as long as he wants. Uh, this is not the feeling, I think, on the part of, of these uh, soldiers. We've had two announcements uh, in the last few hours. First of all, the results, 64.27% uh, for Ali Bongo, 30.7% uh, for uh, his main rival, Albert Ondo Osa. Uh, that was from the Gabonese election centre. And then just very shortly after that, this announcement by the soldiers, these 12 uh, soldiers uh, on Gabon 24, the uh, television station, which came from inside the presidential compound, uh, saying that uh, they, they were ending uh, the regime in power and taking back control of the country. Uh, now, if you look at the makeup of, of this group of soldiers, you have two colonels from uh, members of the Presidential Guard. They're recognisable by uh, their Green Berets. Then you have also a regular army soldiers, another two colonels in that group, uh, plus police officers. If you look back at what happened in 2019 in Gabon, there was uh, an attempted coup then that was quickly put down, but that was by a group of disorganised soldiers. This seems to be a much better organised uh, grouping with much more senior members in it, uh, keen to show that they are serious about what they're doing. They said they've closed the country's borders, they've dissolved the country's institutions, uh, and they are therefore taking power. We don't know what's happening at the very moment. I mean, we, this is very a very fast-moving story in, in just the few, last few hours. There's been no uh, announcement from uh, President uh, Ali Bongo or any uh, kind of announcement by uh, the government about what's going on. So we'll have to keep an eye on the situation. But as we stand at the moment, th this group of soldiers are saying they're going to create what they're calling a Committee for Transition and Restoration of Institutions the CTRI, which they say is to defend peace and end the re regime currently in place in Gabon. You mentioned the opposition there, um, the main opponent, Albert Ondo Ossa. His supporters had urged Ali Bongo, uh, just in the last 24 hours, to concede defeat in the elections, didn't they? Yeah, uh, well, even just before the end of the, of the election on Saturday, uh, Albert Ondo Ossa had, had denounced what he said was widespread fraud. Uh, and uh, before the, the polling booze ended, uh, he called for Ali Bongo to hand over power, which, of course, this hasn't happened now, this result from the election commission saying that Ali Bongo had won 64.27% of the vote compared to 30.7 for Albert Ondo Ossa. If you look at the election itself, uh, there's a lot to suspect that things did not go freely and fairly. There were no journalists who were accredited for these elections on Saturday. Uh, there were no international observers uh, present. And the whole system of the voting system, there were three elections taking place in one day, the presidential elections, legislative elections, and also elections uh, lo for, for local uh, officials. Uh, and the system had been reorganised since uh, uh, this election was taking place, which meant that if you were voting for a presidential candidate or for a legislative candidate, you all all thematically backed uh, the, the, the same candidate from the for, for a candidate from the same party you couldn't vote for two different candidates from two different parties which was all seen perceived as being a way of sewing up this election in favor of Ali Bongo because his his party is the wide uh, majority holder party uh, in the Gabonese parliament so I think all of these elements put together uh, have, have pushed this group of, of, of soldiers to come forward today to say that they are ending this regime because they say that uh, these elections were were basically stolen from the Gabonese people Fast-moving story, as you say, Philip. We'll continue to follow it, of course, uh, here on Forest 24. Philip Turler, International Affairs Editor there.